Well, hello friends, Coach Bob with you today, and today we're gonna be talking about the modularity of the Riker Rally. Man, that's a big word, modularity. And to be starting it out that quick, man, that's talking crazy. All right, so what do I mean by that? Do you need a day pack just to go for a ride? Or are you gonna be going out on those trails with some friends? You're gonna be riding around, you wanna pop you a nice cool beverage or two in here, maybe a couple of sandwiches? Or are you going on the overnight expedition? You need something like a little backpack, something like that. That'll work well too. And inside this lovely rain cover is a suitcase of sorts that will carry quite a few days worth of clothing for you. So let's see how quick we can turn all this stuff around, make it happen. Is, is it, can you make this thing go from rally racer to sport tour? I think you can. In fact, I know you can. So grab your cup of coffee and let's show you how to do this. All right, so I'm gonna have a couple of cameras run and trying to get different angles and all that stuff. That can be somewhat difficult at times, but we're gonna do the best we can. The sun's coming up, it's already a gazillion degrees and my cameras, the lenses are fogging up. It's 100% humidity. And if it looks like I'm sweating, it's because I am. All right, but we're not, I'm no complaining, just letting you know if you see a little perspiration and you see a little steam, don't freak out. So the first thing you're gonna have to have on your Riker if you wanna really utilize this stuff is the Max Mount. Let me show you what the Max Mount is. This is the Max Mount. This big, heavy piece. It mounts in here, it comes up, it comes around, and it's heavy duty. It's solid. This is the max mount. You can see it has a series of holes and curves in it. One would think that's just a design for beauty or whatever, but it's not. You've got a hole here that is gonna be utilized for your link as you turn it. You've got a notch here that is gonna be utilized for clips that slide up under it. You have these curves that are utilized for articles that will slide down and go under that and slide in, allowing things to lock in here. So every bit of this is very well thought out. An engineer earned his pay on this one, I can tell you that. So the first thing and the first thing that I really like to use is something called the top case. Now this top case is super cool, check it out. So here's the top case. Looks like most top cases I think that you would see on motorcycles. I'll share the specs here in just a second, but it's really, really nice. All right, so how does it mount on here? You have a clip, you see this metal clip right here and then you've got this. You can see that this right here spins. And that's what locks it in. So this clip, that notch I showed you is gonna drop into that notch. Once it's in the notch, the front part will line up. Press it in, there it is. It's that easy, that easy on, that easy off. That max mount really makes it simple. The next thing you're gonna need in order to use a lot of these other accessories is the link plate. Let's show you this. This is the link plate. I'm gonna show you exactly how it goes on. Very, very simple, very, very cool. So your link plate, as you can see here, you have these two notches that go in. This is what I was talking about earlier. These two pieces here will go around that. This little piece here is the bottom of that spring load that I was showing you and it's gonna go in that hole right there. To show you how easy this is, I'll, sh I'll hold the camera with my right hand. Here's my left hand. So, I'm just gonna drop it into those notches right here. It dropped in. Now I'm gonna press it back firmly. Now I'm gonna push that down. That's it, it's on there. The link plate is ready. So the link plate is really, really cool. It is a nice adapter. You, you've got to have that. You just have to have that in order to do a lot of the cool things that this thing offers you. So the next thing we're obviously mounting is the cooler. You can see the cooler. You've got this, this latch piece here, and then you have your latch on the end, and then this swings over and covers and protects that latch. That's all there is to it. So you have a lower notch This is gonna drop in that lower notch. So it's locked in, you drop this in, turn it, it's locked, take that, boom, there you go. You can face your cooler forwards, or you can simply take this off, or it'll go the other way. Your latch is right off, that's it, nice. 
Next, we have this backpack. We're gonna be reviewing here, talking about it here in just a moment. Same thing, except you have a latch and a latch on both sides. So you have to turn this one to where it's flush, straight, turn that one to where it's straight, drops right in on top of them. And you lock in each side with your little pivoting. And that's on there, very easy. And then we have the larger suitcase. So with the suitcase, simply clamp in that one side, drop it, lock it, cover it, done. All right, so let's look at making it pillion ready. Now I'm not talking backrest installation or anything like that, although I don't believe that's gonna be very difficult either, but let's check out how easy it is to put the seat on. This is really quite amazing. So we have our pillion seat right here. I've got one hand available, my left hand, and it does the same way that the link system does. These two carve outs will go around these notches and then the spring will drop in. So with one hand, my left hand, I'm just gonna take it, I'm just gonna drop it in place. Press it back, press it down. That's how easy it is to put on. So we are locked in, good, ready to go. So to remove it, we're simply gonna press this up, hit it forward. The seat is off, put the seat on, simply drop it on, push it back, press it in, you're there. Just that easy. All right, so nothing would be complete without the finite details. I've got a couple of cameras going so you can get some different angles. So let's look at the link top case. So I'm using one hand, a squeeze right there that you can unlatch that. It's a pull and the lift to release as far as tightening. Uh, this top case, so this roll top bag is, makes it weatherproof. Is it waterproof? Waterproof would mean that you could drop it in a pool and water would not get in it. So it's weatherproof, not waterproof. You saw how quick it installed. It installs very, very easily. And it holds 4.2 gallons or 16 liters. One thing I really like about this that you'll see is this yellow bottom on this. When you set things in there, unless it's a yellow wristband, <laughs> you're gonna see it. So if you've got something that's black inside of these dark bags, a lot of times it's very difficult to see. You can, but I'm gonna see if I can't get this camera in here. And you can see that everything looks really nice in there. So there you go. The bag's nice, it's solid, looks great. Again, one hand, take this lid. Don't know that I can latch it with one hand, but I can certainly unlatch it with Look at that. Super easy, easy on, easy off. Again, there's the latching system on the bottom of it. You can see how it operates right there. That's how easy it is. All right, next up we have the Link 4.2 gallon or 16 liter cooler. You know that, that uh, 4.2 gallon, 16 liter is pretty awesome. So how hard is this thing to open and close? I'll, I'll show you the latches on it. it this is a lot like uh, many of the hard plastic coolers that you know that are very, very expensive. Um, it works very well. Simply pull down, that comes undone, pull down, comes undone, and then just simply lift it up. You've got your cooler. I know what you're saying. You're saying, coach, there's not a lot to see here. It looks a lot like a cooler. That's because guess what? It's a cooler. But what there is to see is how easy it latches, how easy it lifts. It's heavy duty. It actually, when I just reach out and grab that thing, it has some weight to it. Looking at the latches on the bottom, there's where it locks in on that one side. And this is where your link system turns, locks in and is protected by this rubber strap. So there is your 4.2 gallon cooler. Awesome. So next up is the Link Urban Bag. Again, I'll be providing SKU numbers and all that. This is one of my favorites. Uh, I really like this. There's a lot of little details in this. Um, this, this portion of the bag here, you can see it's nice seam sealed so it won't leak. 
in that pouch. You've got attachment points on the corners, a pop of reflectivity. Look at this YKK zipper. You can see it's very, very heavy duty zipper. Again, everything is seam sealed. You've also got a compartment on the other side of this. I'll explain that why that is that way in a moment. So for those from the hiking world, this is a 40 liter bag. That is a big backpack. I mean, that's really big. That's 10 and a half gallons. If you're hiking on the AT, you would never dream of carrying anything this big. And when you're hiking on the AT, you're carrying a tent, water, and all kinds of stuff. So this is plenty darn big. Heavy duty construction, man. I'm telling you, those zippers are super massive. Um, I'm gonna show you how this thing works. It's got this reversible top here, which is quite ingenious. I'm, I just gotta say that. Like I said, these, whoever these engineers are, uh, BRP, give them a big old pat on the back from Coach Bob because they're thinking this stuff out. So you can see when this is flipped up, this is the backpack side, so you can carry it around. But if you did that, you know, but when you're riding on a motorcycle, you don't want this all flapping in the breeze. So you've got the zipper that zips around. But here's where it gets crazy, because it shouldn't work this way, but it does. Flip it over to the other side. And the way they've designed this, you've got a zipper on one side, and then you have another zipper on the other side. So when you flip this back on the other side, you zip that around, and now you don't have to see the clips that, it, that makes it look like you know it's on the back of a motorcycle. Now you actually have a backpack. Is that the coolest thing ever? It's nuts. So I know what you're saying. You're saying, Coach, well, you've shown me this bag, but you haven't shown me the inside of it. Let's see it. So if you look at the bottom here, you got a nice big duffel roll, and check it out. Look at that. You see how bright that is? Yes, you can actually see what you're putting in it. There are a lot of little compartments in there that are easily accessible. See if we can get it from this camera view. So you've got a big pouch here that holds probably, it's certainly, even the outer one is big enough for a laptop. This would hold like the big giant laptop. So you've got two pouches there. You've got a massive, massive compartment. And here's where it gets even crazy. And then if you unzip this circular zipper in here, you have this removable section that is less cumbersome. And it even has a carabiner on it. And there you go, man. I mean, it does it all. It's really cool. It's just cavernous. And one thing that I've noticed as I'm doing this stuff, and you can see I'm doing it really quickly, it's easy to work with, which is just quite amazing. So there you have it, man. That thing is awesome. Roll this up, get the clip on the side. Clip it there. Clip it there. You're secured and you're ready to go. Again, it has these pouches on the outside. They're massive. Also with the carabiner, you know, you can hang keys, you can do all that stuff. I think they probably call that an integrated key holder, but I just call it cool. But that waterproof removable liner is where the magic is on this and just the way it can convert. Again, very, very well thought out. A lot of clips and things on the outside of this thing. So you can carry a lot of stuff, even clip to the outside. So when you're transporting, the transporter, right? Here it is. Flip this thing over backwards. You got this very heavy zipper. You zip it up. Zipped up, ready to go. You'll simply lock that onto, the, uh, onto your link plate. Again, you've got attachment points at the top and attachment rings on the side, of, on both sides. It is really, really cool. I want to tell you of everything that was sent to me, this is my favorite. It's also the most expensive, go figure. Uh, Coach Bob has often been, uh, it's often been said by Coach Vic that I have caviar taste, but a saltine budget, all right? But this is the 
Link semi-rigid storage bag. Everything about it I like. Um, one of the things I'd mentioned earlier is the way that zippers seal everything on this is very high quality. You have a zipper here, a seam sealed zipper here, and that is that is where you put this, which is a rain cover. So this rain cover will simply roll up and go into this pouch right here. As we showed earlier, it's quick, easy with your link system. Heavy duty handle, which I have big hands. It's very comfortable. It doesn't crush my knuckles. Sometimes when I grab stuff, it does. You can see how this pulls out a little bit. That little attention to detail, man, makes me very happy. So let's look at the inside because as if the outside, I mean, this really looks nice. It's also semi-rigid, so you're not gonna damage it. You can push it in, push it out. It works great. So let's unzip it and look at the inside. All right. Oh, you knew it. You knew I was gonna love it. If I can see in it, and that is a big deal for me to be able to see. For anyone who's watched this channel for a while, they realize that I have had a detached retina in my left eye and sometimes discerning th dark things on light backgrounds is a real problem. So you've got this, this tray, this removable tray that sits in here. So it's easy to keep nice and clean get all the funk out of it if things get all nasty when you're out traveling. This just lifts right out, it's Velcroed in. Nice bag, high, vis high visible yellow in there again, easy to not lose things. Even they even took the time to, to notch this out for this little notch right here. Really, really nice, high quality, good zippers again. Nice big storage on the top. Zipper up. Grab her, put the rain cover on, and go. This is definitely one of my favorites. My favorite is the small top case for the back that just hooks to the, to the max mount because this I use on a day-to-day -day basis. But apart from this, my very next purchase would be this. And that's all I would need to travel. So let's talk a few specs for the, for the uh, bean heads like Coach Bob. It is a 40 liter, so plenty big, which is 10.6 gallons. Semi-rigid design, so it'll keep things safe. You don't want to drop you know, a 50 pound barbell on it, but there again. Yellow interior, like you saw, uh, really, really keeps things organized. You got the removable liner and it keeps things from getting all funky in the little removable pouch. So there you have it, this, the Link semi-rigid bag. Really, really cool. I know what you're saying. You're saying, Coach, that is a lot of stuff. It is a lot of stuff. It all works well. Now, I'm not going to tell you it's cheap because it's not cheap, but I am one of the ones, and you guys know this from just watching me do stuff. I'm the buy once, cry once. I'm the guy with the showy helmet and the awry helmet and that sort of stuff. So I would rather buy good quality stuff than cheap stuff that I'm replacing every other year. Speaking of cheap stuff that you're replacing every other year but ain't cheap, these darn GoPros, man. This one right here died while shooting that video and four batteries, kid you not. That's how hot it was out there. These darn batteries, man, they're killing me. I mean, you can look at the shape of them. They, uh, they won't go in my cameras anymore. In fact, one got so swollen up, it blew the end off of it, man. You know, it just... <laughs> so, one camera, four batteries, but the link system stuff's still working, but this stuff isn't. Anyway, I'll send the 10 back, I'll get it replaced, and then the batteries, yeah, easy come, easy go. All right, so enough of my belly aching. Do me a favor, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. There's lots of cool stuff going on around here. I'm going to be doing another video with the seat, backrest, and foot peg installation, which is pretty interesting. 
I'm also uh, going to be doing the speaker console installation. So lots going on. And I want to tell you, I thank you for what you're doing. Make sure you leave comments down below, even if it's just Gucci, Gucci, goo, tickle, tickle, tickle the algorithm. Keep us moved on up in there. And that makes us highly visible when you do that. All right. So do me a favor until next time. You, yes, you go out by the motorcycle of your dreams. Eat right. Take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you are definitely doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day and I will see you on the road real soon.